What's up guys, Midwest Ghost Hunter here with yet another Ghost Hunting Alone video. Tonight I'm at the notoriously haunted Pakegama Sanatorium. It was built in 1905, functioned as a tuberculosis hospital until its closure in 1943. It's safe to say many people tragically lived their last days here as the survival rate of tuberculosis back then was about 50-50. The building is now completely abandoned and many locals believe that this place is pretty dang haunted. Shadow figures have been seen peering out from the windows, disembodied footsteps walk through the hallways, ghostly voices talk from thin air, a ghostly little boy is said to roam the basement halls, and it is even said that full-bodied apparitions of deceased patients still walk through the hallways. So tonight should be a pretty interesting night. I'm gonna be investigating by myself as always. And man, I, I'm not gonna lie, I got anxiety about this place. It is one intimidating structure to say the least. Not only just the hauntings, but the structural integrity. It's a very dangerous location and I do not recommend you guys do what I do. Do not go out to these abandoned places by yourself. It's just, it's not a good idea. Let me conduct the stupidity for you. If you end up enjoying this video, be sure to like it, comment your thoughts on anything that goes down, and if you haven't already, consider subscribing because I do this all the time. But anyways, enough talking. Let's get to the sanatorium. Holy moly, you guys. I can't believe I'm about to go in here. I just heard something in there. Hello? I don't know what the heck that was. That noise came from the second floor. Is anyone up there? What the hell is that? Okay, I was originally creeped out to go in there. Now I'm terrified. I don't see anyone in the windows. Who's up there? I keep hearing like movement in there still. I guess there's only one way to find out what's going on. I gotta go inside. This is nerve wracking. Hello? Is there anyone up here? I keep hearing strange sounds up here. Who's up here? I'm getting the creeps already. The sounds came from this side. Hello? <gasps> Ooh, okay, I'm hearing more noises. If that was you, could you make another sound? This is one of the rooms. One of the rooms I was hearing the noises. Are there any patients in here? sort of whisper somewhere in here. Hello? Who's in here with me? Could you
you tell me your name? Alright, so I'm gonna sit down here. I've got a K2 meter here. I'm gonna see if I can communicate with anyone who's in here. If there's any spirits in here that like to communicate. Got a device right here. It has a green light. It will not hurt you. It's completely safe. All you have to do is touch it or move by it and it will detect your presence. Is there a spirit in here with me right now? Because I heard some noises coming from this room. If you are in here with me, could you touch that green light? Yes. Thank you. Are you a patient here? Yes. What were you sick with? Was it tuberculosis? Yes. I am so sorry to hear that. Are there other spirits here? How many are there? How many are there? How many are there? Whoa, I just heard that. I don't know what that was. That scared me. It sounded like a voice, a moan, or something. Hello? Grab my stuff, and I'm gonna head towards it. Hello? Thought I may have heard somebody down here. Whoa, I got something weird on this camera. Let me try to get it again. Whoa, what the heck was that? Dude! There's like a straight up mist figure in here. What is in this room? Hello? It was like right in this doorway and it's gone! Hello? <gasps> Whoa. Whoa. Who's over here? I'm seeing stuff and hearing stuff in here. <gasps> Whoa! Holy dude! A freaking mist just went right in front of me! It went right out that door! I gotta follow it. Where'd he go? That mist figure literally just went right in front of me. Holy shit. Where'd you run off to? here? Oh. oh my god. I'm hearing weird shit at the end of this hallway. Are you down there? <gasps> Whoa! Whoa! I gotta go over there now. Dude, I just went in this room. Holy shit. There's nothing. There's nothing here. Who are you? I just wanna to talk to you. What's in here? It's 
the bathroom. And then over here is another room. I'm the only one in here, guys. What the hell is going on? I don't know where that spirit went. It seems like he's long gone now. I'm definitely gonna leave a camera down this hallway for sure. Cause I wanna see if I can catch any more activity. here. <sighs> Man, I tell you, this entire hospital is giving me the creeps. Even just walking around when nothing's happening, it's still, still unnerving. Oh my God, jeez. What would possess someone to illustrate something like that? If I saw an entity with that kind of face, I think I would just give up on ghost hunting. Not really, but you know, it would definitely cross my mind what this is blocking off. Oh, it's a freaking ledge. Jeez. Imagine not knowing any better and just walking off of that thing. This whole place is dangerous. Whatever you guys do, do not do what I do. At least don't do it alone, bring a friend. One, it's way more fun when you have a friend with you. And two, I mean, it's just smarter to do. I'm dumb. Don't follow in my footsteps. Look at that. It's an elevator shaft. Ooh. Imagine falling down that. Heights is one of my biggest fears. It's like a shaft. Look how, look how far down it goes. Oh my God. I don't even like looking down that. Screw that, man. Even if I like look, down from a high place I get like lightheaded I get woozy oof yeah so you won't see me climbing on any roofs or anything like some people do and I give people credit who do that because that is not me nope all right so right here I've got a spirit box I'm gonna see if I can get any communication through this Jeez, before I even get it out, I'm already hearing things. Hello? Okay. What the f***? Who's down there? Is down there. Who's down there? State your name. Oh, holy sh! Uh, those were footsteps. Oh, God. Who's down there? Oh, come on, Ian. Let's go towards him. I'm coming towards you. Oh, 
whoever or whatever's up here is giving me a creepy vibe. I wonder what would happen if I ran the spirit box right now. I think I'm gonna try it. Who's walking down this hallway? Doctor. <gasps> doctor. It just said doctor. Doctor who? Did you say that one more time? <gasps> Turn off the doorknob. Let's just grip that doorknob. Holy shit. Something gripped this doorknob. What the heck? I heard that. Did you just grip this doorknob? <gasps> oh, what the? What the? Oh shit! I just felt like a force. It like pushed me to the side. I didn't feel anything, but it was like a force. It was like a force like pushing me this way, but I didn't feel anything touching me. That was so freaking bizarre. Oh god, it was pushing me towards those stairs too. What was that about? Are you trying to push me down the stairs? What kind of doctor are you? I feel like this doctor does not want me up here. Oh man, the wind has picked up along with the activity. That makes it even way scarier. Where'd you go? I didn't scare you away, did I? Oh, shit! Okay, I gotta get out of here. I'm done, I'm done for now. I'm done, I'm not done. I'm coming back. I apologize for running, guys. But after feeling that doctor, that entity up there, pushing me towards the stairs. Oh my gosh, that freaked me out so bad. Imagine if I would have went down those stairs. And I don't have anybody here. Anyways, I just took a bit of a break. I did leave a camera up there, just a film, but uh, I'm going back in. I'm going to resume investigating. I'm gonna walk around some more with the spear box. I don't really use these things too often. If you want me to use a spear box more, just let me know down in the comments. These are some crazy answers earlier. Doctor. Just straight up. That was like the first response. Spine chilling, to say the least. Is there anyone I'd like to speak? I've got a device that you can speak through. If you're a patient, that died here. Could you tell me your name? This thing's been radio silent this whole time. I've not heard one voice. I think that only solidifies the voices from earlier. And I have this thing rigged so that radio stations don't come through. So any voice I get should be a spirit. It shouldn't be a radio. Make our way up to the attic. Ain't that creepy, huh? Jeez. Hello, is anybody up here? metal thing. 
whatever the heck this thing is. <gasps> it's making all kinds of noise. What the hell? Who's up here? What is this thing anyway? It's like some kind of machine. I don't know, I can't tell what that is. If you guys have any idea as to what this thing is, type it down in the comments, because I have no idea. It's got like these gears here. But what was causing that noise? If you're messing around with this thing, could you make another sound? Oh. Now I'm hearing noises up there. I hear you. Who's up here? Oh shit, my camera just died. Okay, I got the camera rolling again. Time to follow these noises. Damn, this is one freaky attic. I heard you making noise up here. What's your name? My name is Ian. And I'm just curious about you. And why you're up here in this abandoned hospital. Who haunts this attic? Could you make some more noise down there? Who are you? I'm getting weird orbs over there. There's somebody down there. And they just keep coming. Oh, God. There's definitely somebody up here with me. What kind of spirit would haunt an attic in an old hospital? Something not good, right? What? Dude! Am I going crazy or did that just move? No fucking way! You see that? It was up against that wall. Those beams. Who moved this box? Thank you, whoever you are. How in the world do you explain that? I mean, it's very windy outside right now. But that window's right there, and that box is right there. And as you can probably tell from the audio, there is no wind getting in here. It is completely still. So how did that happen? Whoever moved this box, could you move it again? <gasps> what? Oh my god! What the hell? Are you seeing that? Oh hell no. Hell no. Screw that. I am not going over there. What the f is going on up here? I'm about ready to be done, guys. I'm about ready to get the hell out of here. I'll just go towards it once, Ian. Just go towards it once. Oh, look at that. Oh my god. 
How do you explain that? <gasps> First the box, now this. I don't even know what the hell this is. There's two of them. There's two like... Oh my god. I'm hearing all kinds of shit now. Look at this. What is this? It's like some bars. Bars swaying back and forth. But how? It's one thing if they were swaying just a little bit like this. I'd be more inclined to think maybe the wind, but no. That wasn't the wind. Same with that box over there. That was not the wind. Someone is up here with me right now. Whistling. I don't even know what to say at this point. At least these stop swinging. I think I've just had just enough of being up here. You know, after hearing that whistling, I no longer think of an evil spirit or something, or like a demon. I think of, I don't know, almost like a, a maintenance man or something. All the noises and stuff moving around. I mean, and then the whistling whistling on top of it. Uh, I just kind of changed my outlook on that. I don't know, tell me what you guys think. But that was scary. This is. Looks like it's got like some kind of sink. You can see all the pipes and stuff in there. There's like a window to it too. I've never really seen anything like that. I'm just trying to check out all the different rooms I haven't gone in yet. Oh, well, here's another bathroom. Hello? Oh, that was me. There's like some showers. Damn, this room is creepy. God, gotta look around this corner. <sighs> Nothing in there. What about over here? But well, these are some tiny showers. They really didn't give you much space back then, huh? Hello? Hello? Ma'am? Who's over here? Okay, I know I heard someone down this hallway. Where are you? That woman's voice was so loud I heard an echo. It echoed through this hallway. She seemed nice. At least I hope so. That came from outside. Whoa, I just saw something! Something just moved!
It was right over here. Something just walked by this. I saw it with my own eyes. Ma'am, are you out here? Thought I'd just seen you. Let's see if I can see her again. Hello? I just heard her voice again. It was right over here. Look, there's nothing. There's nothing here. I'd walk over further, but it's raining outside and I don't want to get my camera wet. Because I really don't know the structural integrity of this. I'm definitely leaving a camera out here though. level well I don't technically know if it's a basement because it is ground level on one half but then the other half isn't so I don't know what you would consider this this is where that little boy or little child I don't think they know if it's a boy or a girl it's been heard running up and down these hallways hello Anybody down here? <gasps> Whoa! You see that? It's a ball. And it's perfectly placed right in that doorway. That's weird, isn't it? Did you put this ball here? They say that a child has been heard running down this hallway. Is that you that they're hearing? Why don't you tell me your name? My name is Ian. If you're in here, could you move this ball? Holy! That was loud. Okay. Thank you for making that noise. A scary noise at that. Could you make another sound? Oh. oh my god, this kid is aggressive. What the hell? Is it even a kid at all? I don't know. <gasps> that sounded like a kid. Where did that come from? This room, in here, I don't know. I don't know, but it sounded high pitch. High pitch like a child. No! I feel like whatever's down here is toying with me. What? No way! Oh my god! What? Look at that! That ball just moved! Oh my god! Oh my god! This little kid is going absolutely crazy! Don't tell me that door is gonna move next. I can just feel that happening. Let's see what's beyond that door. It's another room. Oh god. This basement is freaking me out. Well, it seems like it's gone quiet down here. So. I think I might uh, 
call it a night uh, and just leave a camera down here for the rest of the night because uh, right when I was talking about leaving too what the hell I guess they don't want me to leave well let's investigate some more Are you down here? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I just saw a fucking shadow over there. Excuse my language, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to curse, but damn. It was short, like a kid. Holy moly. I don't want to frighten you. In reality, you're frightening me. Hey, uh, do you want to be friends? Don't you get lonely down here? I'd be scared to be down here if I was a kid. Hell no. Where are you right now? Make a noise where you are. Weird feeling in this room. Oh shit! Holy shit! <gasps> that was a shadow! That was a shadow! This just passed right by my camera! Holy! Thank you, whoever you are. I'm trying my best not to freak out, but you have to understand it's. It's scary down here. You're a lot braver than I am living down here. Why are you here? Are you stuck here? Talk to me. I want to learn more about you. Are you a boy or a girl? I think I've had enough guys. I think I'm gonna call it a night. Holy crap. My God. Stuff just going crazy left and right. Anyways, I'm calling it a night. I'm gonna get some sleep. It's about four in the morning. And almost up to 45,000 subscribers. That's nuts. I've, I never thought I'd see the day. And it's all thanks to you guys. You guys make this possible. You guys keep me going and just keep my morale up high with all your comments and just support and I appreciate it. And I'm not, you don't even have to support me monetarily. It's just, just the fact that you guys watch my videos is just wonderful to me. I'm just like, it's humbling. It's like, I never thought so many people would watch me of all people stumbling around in the dark, but here we are. So anyways, I love you guys. Thank you for everything. Almost up to 50K, road to 50K. Let's see how long it takes. And I hope to see you on the next ghost hunt.